Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon and Rising Sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your weekly general reading for the 6th through the 12th of May 2019. We have Stand Your Ground coming up here Capricorn with the Psychic Tarot. I am also using the Goddess Oracle and I will be doing your tarot reading with the Druid Craft Tarot. And I will be pulling a Affirmator's Positive Thought card at the end of your reading. Alright. Beautiful. Aphrodite, Inner Goddess coming up here. Very nice. Very powerful message right there. Give me just a moment, Capricorn, to get your card shuffled and laid out and we will go over them thank you so much spirit this is for the sun moon and rising sign of capricorn spirit what do you have for capricorn sun moon and rising sign for the 6th through the 12th of may 2019 capricorn sun moon and rising sign spirit capricorn sun moon and rising sign all right thank you spirit we are ready capricorn all right situation of the week capricorn we have the high priest crossing you is the three of pentacles your foundation is the lovers recent past is the seven of cups Ten of Swords is crowning you. We have Rebirth as the new circumstance. And we have the Queen of Pentacles coming up as the overall energy. Beautiful, I might say. Very nice reading. Positive for you this week, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at your Psychic Tarot. We have Stand Your Ground. So I feel like especially with this high priest coming up here as the current situation this is going with this stand your ground capricorn uh take a stand uh i feel like you're gonna have uh, the energy of the gaining advantage over others uh this week i this is i feel like you know what your purpose is you're taking a stand for your rights and what you believe in uh, I feel like this is on a spiritual level as well, especially with the high priest. I feel like you have people that respect you and admire you as well, Capricorn. Uh, I feel like you're a leader. This is a leader type energy coming through. So, you know, do your thing, Capricorn. Do your thing because it's looking good for you this week. Uh, there's a lot of power with intent with this energy coming through here and then you have aphrodite coming out is with the inner goddess here awaken the goddess within you through dance self-care and appreciating your divinity and i like i said this is just spiritual there's this same color right here i feel like for some of you uh some of you may be uh I feel like some of you are using that, you know, divine power that you have within you to help others and help guide others, uh, possibly in a, on a spiritual path. I feel like some come to you for advice. Some of you may be working with uh, Reiki, using crystals. Others of you uh, may be helping people to understand uh who they are in a divine or spiritual sense as well. Now, Capricorn, we have the Queen of Pentacles coming up here. And this is just beautiful. Because uh, this is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. I love the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, this is all about the energies of being very dependable, nurturing. This is like the generous Earth Mother type energy coming out here. Uh, this is also very practical. Uh, financial security and stability, uh, I feel like, is coming through here as well for many. So with this being the overall energy, I feel like this is what's very important for you this week. Now, Capricorn, we do have 
the high priest coming out here as the situation of the week. Now, the high priest is the energy of Taurus. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is all about being very centered. This is a teaching uh, energy as well. Like I said, Capricorn, I feel like for many of you, you're around people. You're a beacon for others. Uh, some of you may be speakers as well. Uh, I feel like you're into your spirituality. You're into who you are. Um, I feel like you're very proud of it. And, you know, you are standing your ground. I'm just, leader is just coming through here so strongly, Capricorn. Um, so you could be transmitting, you know, and bouncing ideas back and forth uh, with others. Um, some of you could be starting a group even, and that's even coming through. Uh, the high priest represents, you know, religion, um, spirituality, co-creating, I feel like, is coming through here as well. Setting your intentions, all right? Um... I mean, just very positive. I, I'm getting a very positive sense here. Now, you have the Three of Pentacles, which is crossing you this week, uh, Capricorn. The Three of Pentacles represent having skill, being admired uh, by your skill as well. Having people watch you. You may, may not even be aware that somebody is watching you, a boss or uh, people that you work with. But you're highly skilled. Um, oftentimes, this can represent teamwork, planning, cooperation as well. Now, with this in your crossing position, Capricorn, uh, this could be a challenge. Uh, people may not be doing their work, their part, uh, making their effort. Uh, you may be doing all the work, and I feel like you're going to be noticed, though. You're going to get recognition for your effort. Uh, but there could be some people that are you know, at your job that aren't putting in, you know, their effort and you're the one that's ending up doing all of the work, possibly. For others of you, you could be coming up on a promotion uh, as well. So, that that's a plus. Now, we have the lovers coming up down here in your foundation. And this is the energy of Gemini. Uh, the lovers represents you know, relationships, making choices, balancing your energy. Now, this is what's driving you. So, I feel like there has been a major choice or decision that you've uh, had to come to, something that happened in your recent past, because we have the Seven of Cups in your recent past position, Capricorn, and this is having too much of a choice, kind of not knowing, you know, which decision to make because you have so many options that are on the table for you. Um, I feel like, though, you made this decision that was needed to be made here with this coming up in your recent past. And this is a life-changing decision that you made. It's going to end this, you know, this energy of what's crowning you with the Ten of Swords. This is going to end. Whatever this life decision was, where you felt like you had many options here in your recent past, you made the decision, and that's what's driving you forward. Now, the Ten of Swords, with this being in your crowning energy, Capricorn, there's nowhere to go from here but up. This is ending. This is the turning point. This is where you have enlightenment coming through here. This is where you have this inner goddess energy, and you're standing your ground, and you're like, no more, I'm fed up. You know, however this resonates with you, you're taking a stand and you're like, by God, I'm moving forward with or without you or, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever this circumstance is for you, you're you're let it, allowing that inner goddess to awaken within you and you are going to move forward and this cycle is going to end for you, Capricorn. This is a turning point. So this is a beautiful energy. And what happens when you have this enlightenment? You have rebirth. All right. This is a rite of passage. This is second chances. Uh, and this is your new circumstance. So you have a new per perception taking place. There is a major transformation that's going to be taking place in your life. You, and you're going to be transitioning into this energy. Now, one thing I like everyone to keep in mind with this energy, Capricorn, is to look at your your past cycle that you've been in. <clears throat> Please excuse me, you guys. 
that you've been in and uh, before you start this you know new chapter of your life this rebirth this new cycle go back and look at the the you know where you've had challenging times uh where you know maybe things were negative or negative situations and assess those and take some wisdom and learn from those uh you know negative situations and take knowledge out of that of how you may have done would have done things differently and take that with you forward capricorn so you won't be repeating any of those negative energies or situations okay so very positive outlook for you guys i feel like you are standing your ground stability security is what you're after here capricorn you're allowing that inner goddess to awaken within you uh, i feel like you're highly respected by others um, i feel like a lot of you are working on your spirituality on your path you're working hard and you're skilled at work either you're doing all the work and uh, i feel like you're fixing to be um getting recognition for your effort that's made whether that's a pay raise uh, I feel like for others of you, uh, you may be tired of people not being on board and being team players. And you're making a major decision here to move forward and have uh, this enlightenment come and take place in your life at this turning point. And you're having a second chance here. All right. You're moving forward. Beautiful energy, Capricorn. Beautiful. Oh, I just love this. We have abundance. All right, Capricorn, congratulations. It seems you're due for a little and infinitely big piece of abundance pie. Feel like you don't deserve it? Knock it off. It's already plated and ready to hit your table. Reluctant to take it? Shut your hole. Abundance pie is big enough to serve everyone. So get your whipped cream ready unless you're lactose intolerant and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert very nice capricorn very nice all right please leave me a comment let me know how these energies are playing out in your life um i read all of them i love you capricorn i send you all my love wishes and blessings and i'll see you next time bye bye capricorn